Hey guys, it's Popcorn here, and I want to talk about Captain Marvel. So yeah, um, Captain Marvel is the first MCU movie chronologically, and it really uh, sets out as that. It's also a more cosmic approach to the direction they are wanting to take it, which is cosmic, and it really feels like Star Wars. Um, not in a bad way, but a good way. Um, with all their planet exploration, but we'll, we'll talk about all that a little later. And yeah, it also has so much Marvel lore that you didn't know you wanted until you saw the movie. And it's just, it was so much fun. So, it starts off with the intro, like every other Marvel movie, with the Marvel intro. And, oh my god. It, they did something special for this, I'm not gonna spoil it. You, you guys gotta go see it. Um... It was truly worth paying tickets just to see that intro. It was beautiful, and everyone in the crowd cheered. It was awesome. Um, I've never seen a crowd cheer so much for an intro, and it was very much deserved. So I also want to touch on how it did as an origin story for Captain Marvel. And let me tell you, it is a very well done origin story. It fills you in as you're going. When you need to know something, it gives you it. And it doesn't feel forced, which is so nice. It flows so smoothly. It has also that nice balance of funny, but also those serious moments that you need to grasp for this character. And it was really fitting, especially for what happens in the film. It's really great seeing how they balanced it so well. And the other thing that really sets this origin story apart from any other of the new lineup that's coming up is this is really the Iron Man of the new set of Avengers. You can tell Captain Marvel is going to be a huge leader in both Endgame and will most likely, my guess, be taking over as the head of the Avengers like Captain America and Iron Man are now. Uh, don't want to face the fact that that might happen, but it's really well done. It's so distinct in it that you can tell this is genuinely going to be a special character to follow the next set of Avengers and so on. It, it was awesome. So... The one thing I will warn you, when you guys go in this theater, it's going to feel slow at first. It really, like, you're not completely into the film, I would say. Like, I'm a die-hard Marvel fan, or superhero fan in general, and it just felt off and slow. And partially that's because some reasons that we'll get into later, but partially because it takes time to get into this character and really look at who Captain Marvel is. So, yes, it will feel slow at first, but once, like, they get to Earth, oh my god, you're just invested, and it's just bam, 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 one after another, and it's great. Um, the pacing, that it was slow at first, like I said, but it really speeds up and gets to a nice thing where you just feel like it's not even two hours. Everyone's saying this is a feminist movie and woman empowerment, and yes, it is, but I don't want it to be a bad thing to say about it, because yes, we get a lead in a very, very strong supporting role to two women who are just awesome, but it doesn't do it at the expense of anyone else in the film. It's not forcing, oh yeah, woman, right in your face. It's not pushing that into you. It feels natural. Girls are going to look up to Captain Marvel in the future, and it is truly a female empowerment film, but it's not saying that a guy's not going to enjoy this, because, haha, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, and also countless other people are going to love this film. It's not made just for women. 
ig ignore the media that says that. It's really not. It's not at all. Let's get to the actors and actresses in this film because I have a lot to touch on about these guys. So let's start with the main girl herself, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. All right, so there's a whole controversy of her politics pushing it into this film and such, but when you really don't look at it and are like, whoa, she's pushing this as like this kind of political film, if you ignore that, she is truly awesome in this role. At first, like I, I was getting into a little bit, she feels she didn't know what she was at the beginning of this film, like as an actress who how her character plays into this role. But as you see later and later in the movie, she really realizes, oh, this is why I am in the MCU and does it amazing. It's truly so much fun to watch. Also, when I was watching it, I was like, wow, this role is reminding me a lot of another role she's in. And after a little time of thinking, it was Room, like how she was in Room. And it's it's so much alike uh, with how she acted. And I really enjoyed it. It was really, really interesting to see that kind of like parallels between her role in Room and Captain Marvel because I kind of felt that kind of same vibe coming off her at some times in this movie. Also, I want to be the good news guy about this. She, the trailers are very misleading about Captain Marvel, about Brie Larson's tone in this movie. There are some times she's not smiling like the trailers um, show us, but she also has so much more emotions and isn't just an empty shell. She's like smiling, laughing, and it makes the entire theater smile and laugh with her. Don't be persuaded by those trailers not see this movie. Um, because her, her role in this film is not very, was very misleading in the trailer, I must say. And I'm happy it was not what the trailer showed. And she actually can be funny and cheerful and not just, oh, kind of role. Now let's get to the main mancha of basically the Avengers in general, the one that gets them all together, Samuel L. Jackson, a.k.a. Nick Fury. Oh man, he is one of my favorite characters, I must say. He is extremely charismatic, but when is he not? Uh, this is basically the role that was made for Samuel L. Jackson. Sadly, it's a little PG for him, but still, this role is perfect for him. I mean, he is a charismatic man. He is such a funny guy in this movie. It it was shocking to see that. Just, he's cracking jokes left and right and left and right. And it never stops. And it's never a dull moment with him. He's always bringing something to, to the um, movie. And he has such a powerful, like presence in this film alongside Brie Larson and I also gotta say between these two actors just the chemistry between them works so well and you didn't feel like they were just working uh you felt like they were having fun on set and everything it was awesome to see that and a large percent of that is thanks to Samuel L. Jackson and I mean I I can't praise Samuel L. Jackson enough for this role. So now Ben Mendelsohn. He played Talos, the scroll leader in Captain Marvel. And let me tell you, when I saw those trailers at first, I was like, oh no, that scroll like prosthetics and like makeup and everything does not look good. But when I saw the movie, they really polished it up. <laughs> let me tell you that. They really polished this sucker up, and he looks so awesome as a scroll, I gotta say. And he is surprisingly really good in this role. Uh, ben Mendelsohn really brought the heart and comedy to his character alongside with those dark, stereotypical dark strokes. 
it, it is so much fun to see him it, playing this role because, like, he just got absorbed into this role. Um, but he really got into this role. And it is awesome to see it. Ben Mendelsohn brings such heart to his character. And, and he's so funny as well as this character, just like Samuel L. Jackson was in his character as Nick Fury. Uh, but yeah, he is really, really powerful with his performance because he can put that dark strokes of the his character alongside with this such heart. And I never thought I would relate to uh, Scrolls, but after his performance, I do very much. And just the scrolls in general, they got me excited because, haha, <laughs> secret invasion. I'm very happy the scrolls are in this universe. They're really well created characters. And I, a lot of it has to do with Ben Mendelsohn and just how well he did his role as Talos, the scroll leader. Now, those are the main three I wanted to completely talk about. About, but there's also characters like Lasha Lynch, Goose, and Jude Law, and just oh my god, they were awesome in this role. And complete scene stealers at times. I mean, Lasha Lynch, phenomenal secondary character. It just basically there for Brie Larson, and like it was awesome because she wrote you. She really had that, like, heroic essence to her as well, and not just a sidekick kind of feel. And then Goose, obviously, it's a cat. Everyone's going to love the little animal. And Goose is such a scene stealer, but not in a way where it puts any of the other actors or actresses down for their per performances. It just brings it up. If, if you were interested in Goose, you're going to want to see Goose more. I mean, I want to see Goose so much more. I want to see Goose fight Thanos, if I'm being honest. But I also want, want to say a little thing about Jude Law. Uh, he hasn't been getting talked about as much in this movie, but he is genuinely very good in this movie. He's basically a Captain Marvel's father figure for a majority of this film, and it's really, really cool to see. Um, I could kind of feel that Jude Law was like, I really gotta make this something special, because that character has such a deep story to share, and I'm very happy with what we got from it, from him, definitely, and all the cast. All the cast did phenomenal. That's just a few of the many who are awesome in this movie. It, it is great. Uh, if you got it, you'll love the cast. Captain Marvel also has this thing that goes on that you see in the trailer. It has that 90s nostalgia. Now, the major issue with a lot of the films that use 90s nostalgia is they push it into your face. Bam! 90s, 90s, 90s. But the nice thing about Captain Marvel Yes, it's in the 90s. There are, it is very 90s, like, kind of feel. But it's not pushed in your face. Like, oh, we're in the 90s. <laughs> Rad, bro. It's not like that. You get those 90s references every once in a while, and it's very, very fun to see the 90s nostalgia done right for once. And it made me very happy that this film was actually set in the 90s, because it's very fitting for uh, the story and such. And yeah, the 90s just made it so such a different feeling movie from any Marvel movie we've seen. And it is very funny, but also very, like, it makes you think back to the older days where you had blockbusters and, and like, you listen to Nirvana and all the old school music and such. It's all there and it, it was fun. I must say. There's all that positive stuff, but there is one major issue with this movie that I have to pick out other than that pacing I said earlier, and that would be some of these soundtrack choices. 
they really did not fit um, what was happening in the film. Back to that 90s nostalgia thing, there's some 90s tracks that come in here and they really don't fit as much with what's happening and it feels really just weird. Um, you feel conflicted with how what you're thinking and stuff from it. I, I do have an example here. Uh, so there's this one fight that happens and just, um, just the girl from No Doubt comes on and is the fight music, it doesn't work. Um, I was just sitting there like, um, what is happening? Because you're getting a song that is like just a little more chill and not as like adrenaline pumping alongside this very intense fight scene that happens, which was awesome. Uh, but the sound choice for it did, felt really out of place. And it really takes you out of the film. And it really did not complement this. Now, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and say, oh man, the VFX were probably the best. Um, VFX we've seen from a Marvel movie yet. Oh man. Sure. The trailer, once again, misleading, re had really worrying VFX, but this is awesome. They really polished it up, and Captain Marvel's photon blasts look so realistic. And then you also have the de how they de-aged um, Samuel L. Jackson for this movie and if you if I never knew about Samuel L. Jackson you put me down there and I watched it I would have never thought they de-aged him it's really realistic looking and just yeah I loved it I loved it so much and it makes you just feel so much more like this is a real kind of place with these VFX that work so well and I think partly also, with the VFX, you have to applaud how they did the sp did space and just the VFX for the different worlds and all that. When I stayed for the credits, I saw the VFX team, and it makes a lot more sense now because the VFX team was a, a Lucasfilms company. And that makes a lot of sense now because those VFX felt a lot like Star Wars effects. But in a good way. Again, in a good way. I, I mentioned it before about the MCU lore, but there is so much MCU lore and continuity jam-packed in this film that truly any MCU fanatic will freak out about and love. Um, it has such, so many different things, like, you can't get away from it. But the good power of it, it doesn't overpower this incredible origin story. It is a nice accent, but you don't, if you go in there completely new to the MCU and you see it, you'll be like, oh, cool. Um, you won't understand the, like, lore of it, but it's still is a very, they find ways to tie it in with the actual story and where it's not just out of place. And it's nice. Uh, there's a lot of uh, very good MCU questions answered and it's, you'll love this continuity and lore that you just see in this film. They really thought it out. I, I have to give them credit for just really sitting down thinking what am I doing with all this and how can I tie this in with these other lores that we learn from other films but never hear about and I mean it's set perfectly with the time and oh it was great now I will say this is probably one of the smartest things um, Marvel has done they have placed this a month out before Endgame comes and it's really gonna get the hype for Endgame going because oh man after seeing that film I thought I was excited for Endgame but now I'm just pumped dude like I'm so excited to see Marv Captain Marvel 
just come in and help the Avengers fight Thanos. That's going to be such a great fight to see. And it's going to really tie so much in. And it's going to generate so much hype for Endgame and speculation as well. Because, oh man, those stay for after all the credits because there are some uh, end credit uh, scenes that you will want to see uh, in it. It will pump up your excitement even more, I must say. So, to tie in everything I was saying, it is a very welcomed and nice start to this new set of Avengers and really is welcomed uh, to the community and just super excited to see this new leader come into our great world of the MCU. It's a must see for any Marvel or sci-fi fan or even if you're just looking and wanting a moving powerful seeing a powerful woman just completely be awesome um, you'll want to go see this it is for such a wide scale of audiences but to really appreciate it if you love sci-fi or Marvel you'll really appreciate this film it's a familiar but very unique spin on an MCU origin story slash movie. Also, I'm going to say this again. If you saw those trailers and you're like, oh, I'm not seeing this. This looks dumb. See it. The trailers are so misleading. The trailers don't make it out to be so, this phenomenal film that it is. It is really so much fun, I must say. And is a truly great blockbuster that is going to be coming to the cinemas. Please go support this film and see it in cinemas. Don't let Brie Larson's comments make you not see it or any of the like political drama around it or the trailers even. Please support the cinemas. Go see this movie in a movie theater. It's going to be such a real thing in being in there with the audience is just going to make it feel so much more special because you're in a room with a bunch of other people who are appreciating the MCU for what it is. And you can laugh with them, cry with them. It's great. Please go see this movie. And yeah, that's all I got to say about it. Have you seen it? What do you think about it? I hope you liked it because it, it's going to be our leader for probably the next 10 years and yeah create a discussion down below I'm, I'd love to see that and I'll see you in another quality review peace out boys